Hey, this is Mike Barker here at Four Seasons RV in Medicine Hat, Alberta. In front of me is the 2018 Forest River Sanibel. Uh, we're gonna go through this, check it out, see all the amazing features and the great condition this thing is in. Uh, as you can see, it is raining today, so we'll uh, try and keep the video uh, as thorough as we can outside, and then we'll go inside and kind of get into more detail here. So, starting at the front, beautiful front fiberglass cap. No damages, dents, cracks, nothing like that. Um, looks like maybe the odd looks like a paint mark, but it's not in the paint. That's all something that potentially could be cleaned up there. Uh, pretty minor stuff. Uh, uh, front storage here. You have two batteries located in there too as well. It is uh, prepped to be able to have a generator. Propane tanks are just located in here. So you have two 30 pound tanks giving you 60 pounds total as well as your auto leveling system just right here. Six point auto leveling gives you uh, definitely some great stability. Massive, massive underbelly storage here. It is heated and fully insulated. You have an inverter there and then on the other side which I'll show you once we get there uh, TV mount with a radio plug-in. You got your own little docking light there. Uh, full docking station here too as well. City water connection. Uh, your tank fill. You have a black tank flush. Uh, winterizing uh, bypass valves. Everything you need to do all located in one direct spot, which is really, really nice. Um, here is the second of the six hydraulic leveling system. Your uh, sewer hose. Um for right there, sewer drain, sorry. And coming to the back again, there's the sixth one. Great tire condition on this, lots of tread, no cracking. They're a Goodyear Marathon uh, tire. Nice solid walls on this. Definitely a high quality trailer when you got solid walls. This is again a four season trailer. Uh, it's got a lot to offer here. Gray tank, uh, um, uh, oh wow, <laughs> uh, gray tank port just right there too as well. Uh, rear bumper, you do have a hitch there, rated for 3,000 pounds. Frameless windows with a ladder and a full walkable roof. Uh, the roof looks great. Uh, it might be a little slippery up there right now, so I'm not going to climb up. But uh, uh, really, really good condition inside and out well taken care of once we see the inside uh, it doesn't even look like it was really used at all honestly um, but uh, I'm gonna give you a look on this side so you have two full power awnings with your LED lighting there again there's your tires outside speakers you can see just above the door and above the other side of the pass-through hatch here oh, your light just right there. TV mount that swings out. Radio there too as well. And then in this hatch here, these are all your hydraulic um, fluid checkups, maintenance areas, stuff like that for your leveling system. So, but we're gonna go, to go inside, check it out. Uh, I had the Onyx pulled out here just so I could show you there's no cracking at all. Just kind of a rolled seam as you can see along the edge. That's usually where the cracking will be. And same thing on this guy here. Perfect. All right, let's go in and uh, check this out. So coming in through the front door here walk directly into your living room kind of gives you a little bit of a separate space I'm going to just give you a quick pan through of everything here
All right, so let's start at the front here. So starting at the front, you've got your solar charge controller uh, monitoring system there. Inverter on off switch. Some light switches here. You have a touch panel here. This is for your uh, auto leveling system mainly. Uh, and then your digital thermostat here too as well with your auto lighting uh, uh, furnace. But uh, your entertainment area here is you got plenty of storage above. Nice big TV sound bar in the front with a electric fire, force air fireplace. Uh, you can turn it on, preset your temperatures with that if you don't want to run your furnace. Um, your furnace is electric or uh, propane. But, uh, you know, this is going to heat this area up really, really nicely. In this particular cupboard here, you have your manual controls for everything. So, um, propane or electric for your hot water tank, water pump, awning controls, all your lighting, your slides. you got heated tanks on this particular one, too. Uh, control your vents here. For the generator prep, you do have your, uh, your start and stop. There's just obviously nothing hooked up. And then, of course, all your tank monitoring is just above there, too, as well. Um, so, and then lots and lots of storage above. So, again, really, really great. It's nice solid wood cabinetry. It looks to be, uh, you know, it looks to be maybe a stained maple. Uh, really, really nice. Nice solid surface countertops here. Um, probably going to outlast the trailer, those countertops. They're pretty, pretty durable. You've got your... Uh, full leather couch here that does pull out to a bed as well as your leather recliner here too as well so really really nice setup in this living area here really makes it feel like a more of a, a, a home feel than a, a trailer feel but uh, over here you have a nice tall cabinet this one here it's got spots for uh, coat hooks you can hang your broom in here plenty of room for lots and lots of stuff and down below right there is your central vac system um, your hose and attachments are all under the master or uh, the king bed uh, which we'll get there in a minute dual pane winter uh, insulated windows all throughout this trailer fantastic lighting above you do have a ceiling fan just above me too as well to help circulate some air more stores just above here. They did a very good job of utilizing the space without making it feel cramped. Nice little uh, eating bar here just behind the couch. So when we do get to the bedroom, uh, there are stools there. Stools are meant to be sitting here. So you've got your little eating bar. You can still watch the TV. Uh, really, really cool option. Um, more, again, storage, cupboard space. There's lots of it. All over the place, you've got plenty everywhere. And your fuse box is just located right there in case you have any issues. Freestanding dinette in its own individual slide. You have your own lighting options just above. Um, storage underneath your seats here. Good for, you know, card games, crib boards, whatever it may be. Uh, there are straps to be able to strap this down. I've just thrown them in the drawer there. Um, and then kind of your main uh, area here. So again, plenty of counter space. Really, really nice design on this. Um, good contrast between the colors and the countertop. You have a uh, filtered water uh, outlet here. Well, plenty of space for all your cleaning supplies that you may need. Full extension drawers here plywood construction on those you have some puck lights just underneath be able to light up your counter here above the sink and then again under there uh, with some plugs on both sides you know great for spots for coffee makers anything like that um, and then uh, of course you know more drawers on this side so lots and lots of prep space for anything that you may need to do you need to use that eating bar over there you can you have a nice stainless steel sink here nice and deep residential faucet this thing here comes out 
they're tip out windows with these frameless windows so because it's raining I can have these windows open and not have to worry about uh, the rain coming in at all it's just going to run directly down the window so still need that cross breeze through here really gives you a good option to be able to do that so going over to the uh, cooking area here so you got your three burner stove you know when I fish it first initially looked at it um, it didn't look like it was ever used it is uh, if it has been it's very minimal use whatsoever oven maybe used once if you're lucky and then uh, you know full full-size residential stainless steel microwave with well, spot for spices or any any other things that you may want to put up there and your two-way dual uh, uh, double door fridge there so before I get into that just down below you do have another drawer more storage this would be good for your pots and pans. You know, it's always awkward to try and find that good spot to put it. Definitely gives you plenty of room. Um, you know, another reason why it makes me think this was barely used, it still has the original plastic over top of the buttons from when this thing was new. And looking at the inside, it is immaculate all the way through. We have not detailed this whatsoever yet. Um, so what you see is how we got it. Lots and lots of space, especially for long-term stays. Double door freezer here. You got your fan just above here. You have an AC unit in the back here. I believe you do have a separate one in the front, but we're going to figure that out when we get there. So, again, here is just a quick look through this area before I start moving on really love the open space concept in this and plenty of windows really gives lots of natural light uh, you know you got windows on your dinette towards your camping side windows beside your living room here full privacy shades anti-slam as you can see there uh, definitely gonna allow those to last a lot longer but uh, let's move towards the bathroom here so coming up the stairs you do have some stair lights here uh, as well as again another window but going into the bathroom here again lots of space in here to move around plenty of cupboard space you got uh, the his and hers dual sink Nice big mirror. <laughs> um, medicine cabinets on both sides. Got your own little uh, puck lights here. Lots of drawers. Again, full extension drawers all the way down. Shelving on both sides here. Porcelain foot flush toilet. And a nice walk-in shower. You got a seat there. You have a mesh bag to put in here. You know, loofahs or anything else like that. Shampoo bottles, all that stuff. You have a skylight here, so if you are a little taller, uh, definitely gives you a little bit more headroom. Um, and a nice stainless steel shower head here, a little bit better than your standard one that normally would come in a trailer. Nice linen cabinet here for towels, toilet paper, paper towel, anything you may need to put in here. And bathroom cleaning supplies maybe uh, really really great use of space master bedroom door glass it's not see-through at all gives you good privacy and again with that bed slide lots of space in here so your king bed so these are the stools for that eating bar as you can see on top of the bed there king size bed Huge walk-in, uh, almost a walk-in if you're short enough, uh, closet. Nice big dresser here. Three drawers. Not super deep, or, well, deep that way, but lots and lots of room that way. You have a TV. 
more space there. You do have your own AC in this uh, bedroom too as well. Oh, and uh, of course, you know, storage above the uh, the bed there. So gives you gives you lots of room underneath. Lots of storage. There's your bag for your vacuum attachments. And then better again a better look at the uh, closet here. So washer and dryer prep. You have your own set of doors right here. Opens up really wide. Gives you lots of room. You don't you won't feel cramped trying to load anything into the washer and dryer. I know sometimes that can be a pain. Spot to hang some clothes just above. And the uh, kind of main area. So you have another dresser in here. A light, as you can see. Hanging rod. More shelving. A fantastic layout. I really like this trailer a lot. <laughs> the uh, Forest River Sanibel is uh, definitely a higher quality trailer the build is really nice you do have plugs in the bedroom here there's one there uh, there should be one on the other side no just on the one side there but allows you to be able to plug your phone in anything like that you've got uh, this little cubby space in here with a plug just above and these I think are just access panels or decorative most likely decorative because of that shelving in the closet there. But little nightstands on either side of your bed too as well. So uh, overall, this is the uh, 2018 Forest River Sanibel uh, 3790. Um, hopefully I've gone through this thoroughly enough. Give you a really, really good idea of what this thing has to offer. Um, I know I've said it multiple times. Very, very beautiful trailer really has a lot to offer all right well hopefully you enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions at all please give us a call and thanks for watching